All right, here we go. Circles in the coordinate plane. This is our last lesson in this unit on circles. Please do remember to come back and write yourself an essential question and fill in your summary when we get finished because we're just going to take off and go here. All right, the equation of a circle. Here it is. X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. What you got to remember here is that H K is the center and R is the radius of the circle. All right. So if we have the center of the circle at the origin, then so, uh, well, we'll get to some examples, but let me just tell you, if the, if the center of the circle is at the origin, then H and K would both be zero, and in that case, you'd have X squared plus Y squared equals R squared, if the center is at the origin. And this is the standard form of the equation of a circle. You Gotta remember that. X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. Or if the center is not the origin, X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. All right, so let's write one. Let's write the standard equation of the circle with the center of 0, 6, and a radius of 3. So H is 0, K is 6. Remember, HK is the center. And let me write this a couple of times so I don't forget it. All right, so x minus h is going to be x minus 0, so I'm not going to put the 0 in there. y minus k is going to be y minus 6 squared. And r squared, oops, not plus, should be equal, equals 3 squared. And there goes my pin again. 3 squared is 9. Okay. What would that circle look like? Let me draw a little bitty coordinate plane over here. If the center is at 0, 6, that'd be up here somewhere, right? 0, 6, radius is 3. So I would go out 3 in all directions. 3, 3. So that circle would look something like that. Okay, how about the next one? The point negative 1, 1 is on a circle whose center is negative 3, 4. Write the standard equation. Okay, well, we got to draw this. Come on, guys. We simply must. Do not try to do these without drawing a sketch. Negative 1, 1. So that point is on the circle whose center is at negative 3, 4. I'm going to pick a different color here. So negative 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's the center, negative 3, 4. This point is on the circle, so I'm going to try to sort of sketch out what I think that circle is going to look like. And it's going to kind of run into my other problem up here. So, oops, sorry. And you know, guys, when I'm drawing my circles, I kind of like to do it with a dashed line. It's a lot easier to make it not quite so egg looking, but in the end, it may come out looking like an egg anyway. All right, so here we are. Here's our circle. I'm going to write the center in here. It's negative 3, 4. And this point right here is negative 1, 1. Okay, so that's what we know. Write the standard equation. Okay, well, I can do, um, so h is negative 3, k is 4, so x minus h is going to be x minus negative 3, so that's going to be x plus 3 squared, and k is 4, so y minus 4 squared, but hmm, I don't know what r is. How can I figure out what the radius is? Hey, how about the distance formula, right? There's the radius right there. So how about the distance formula? Let's see. So I'm going to have negative 3 minus negative 1. So negative 3 plus. Oops. 
sorry for all the pausing. My pen keeps going out, just like last time. Okay, negative 3 minus negative 1. Negative 3 plus 1 squared plus 4 minus 1, which is 3 squared. So what does that give us? Let's see. Uh, negative 3 plus 1. That's negative 2 squared, so 4 plus 9. So that's the square root of 13. So the radius is the square root of 13, but I've got to square that. So that's just going to be 13. So there's the equation of that circle right there. All right. And let's see, what's our next problem? Write the standard equation of a circle with the center of negative 5, negative 3, and a radius of 5. So h, h is negative 5, k is negative 3. So x minus negative 5 is x plus 5 squared. y minus negative 3 is y plus 3 squared. And the radius is 5, so r squared is 25. Oh, that's an easy one. I like that. Okay, here are a couple for us to graph the equation of the circle. Okay, so let's figure out what the center is. H is 3. K is negative 1, right? Because Y minus negative 1 would give me Y plus 1. And R is 4. All right, so let's put our center in. 3, negative 1. Right there. Our radius is 4, so go 4 in all directions. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then again, I'm just going to start out by kind of dashing my circle in so that, I don't know, it's just a little bit easier to make it look like a real circle if I don't try to draw a solid line. Maybe that's not easier for you, but it's easier for me. Okay, why don't you pause and do the next one and then come back and see if yours looks like mine. Okay, there's what I got. Is that what you got? Center is at 1, negative 3, and the radius is 3. All right. Let's see what we got now. The point 4, negative 5 is on a circle whose center is negative 2, 3. Write the standard equation of the circle. Okay, well, I know I got x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals something, but I don't know what. But it's just like that one we did earlier. So let's put ourselves a sketch in here. Please don't do these without a sketch. So 4, negative 5. It's about right there. Center is at negative 2, positive 3. All right. Let me make my center a different color here. So it stands out a little bit. Okay. And if that point down there is on here, then I know I got another one that's equidistant on the other side. Then maybe one about right there. One about right there. Whew, that looks more like a square than a circle. I'm not sure that's a good thing. But anyway, we'll give it a try. Try to make it look somewhat like a circle. All right, so let me label the center now. It's negative 2, 3. And let me label this point that I know is on here for negative 5. So yeah, just like before, we got to use the distance formula to find out what the length of the radius is. So r is going to be negative 2 minus 4 squared plus 3 plus 5 squared. So what does that give us? 6 squared, 36, plus 64. Oh, nice. That's 10. So r squared is 100. So there we go.
That's the equation of that circle. Ooh, this one's different. This looks like a good one. Let's figure this one out. Write the equation of the line tangent to the circle. Let me change colors here so we don't get confused. All right, let's see. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, what is our center? Our center is negative 2, 3. Because H is negative 2, K is 3. So, negative 2, 3. So there's the center. All right. And, oh, the radius. Well, let's see. We've got a, um, let me see here. Now, guys, this is really important how you draw these circles. Let's see. I'll pick blue. We've got a line that is tangent to the circle at 2, 4. So let me come up here. Let's see, 2, that's 3. Okay, so there's that line that's tangent to the circle. So again, I'm going to kind of guess where a couple of other points on that circle are. I don't know how good I'm doing, but anyway, we just got to sketch a circle in here. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, so let's see, what do we know? The center, negative 2, 3, and the point of tangency is right here at 2, 4. So I'm going to draw that line in here. Okay, if my sketch is any good at all, this line's got a negative slope, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's just a sketch, so I'm not sure. What is that point? That point is 2, 4. Hmm, how am I going to find out the equation of that line? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see what's next. I'm actually going to save this problem. I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you how to do it. I'll tell you what the answer is and then you can see if you can figure it out. And if you can't remind me, remind me in class to go over this if you need me to. Somebody will need me to. So please don't let me forget how can we figure out what the equation of that line is. I want to see how many of you can do that. So you try that one and then we'll go over it next time. Now let's do these two. You know what I need you to do right here guys is um, pause pause here and sketch these two circles. Okay, sketch the two circles in these next two problems and then we'll come back and work them together. Alright guys, here we go. How are we going to solve this? We're going to use substitution. That's how we're going to solve it. And what are we looking for? We're looking for the points of intersection. So I know I've got two points of intersection. How do I know that this line y equals 2 isn't above the circle? Well, because I know this point right here is 0, 2, square root of 2. So I know, I know that line has to be underneath that point because 2 is less than 2 times the square root of 2. Okay, so let's just do substitution. x squared plus, and I'm going to plug in 2 for y squared. I mean, sorry, for y. So 2 squared equals 8. So x squared equals 8 minus 4, which is 4. So when I solve that, x is plus or minus 2. And that's good news because remember, I know I'm getting two solutions because here they are right here. Okay, and so I already know what y is. So my two solutions are negative 2 and y is 2 and positive 2 and y is still 2. y is always 2, right? So there are my two points of intersection. 
Okay, let's come down to this one. Again, I'm going to do substitution, right? Because I got the second equation solved. And, and guys, let me tell you, um, I've sketched this line intersecting the circle, but I don't know if it intersects at once. I don't know if it intersects it twice. Maybe it doesn't intersect at all. This is just a rough sketch, so we'll see when we solve this. So again, let's use substitution. X, plus, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and um, square x plus one. So x squared plus two x plus one plus Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to substitute this in right here for y. So x, let's see, 8 minus 1, so that's 7 squared equals 18. Uh, I feel like my 1 didn't show up right there. Okay, so x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus x squared plus 14x plus 49 equals 18. Let me start combining some like terms. 2x squared, let's see, 2x plus 14x, that's 16x. 1 plus 49, 1 plus 49 is 50, and then I'm going to subtract the 18, so that's going to give me plus 32 over here, equals 0. All right, now I can um, factor out the 2. x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 0. Divide by 2, so the 2 goes away. So let's see, what do I get here? I get x plus 4 times x plus 4 equals 0. So x equals negative 4. Okay, so it does have a solution. It does have a solution, so let me plug that into this. So y equals negative 4 plus 8, which is positive 4. So there's my solution. And remember, whenever I'm writing a solution to a system of equations, I want to write it as an ordered pair. So I got negative 4, 4. So that's that point right there. So that line is tangent to the circle, tangent to the circle. The point of tangency is negative 4, 4. And that's how we solve problems like that. And hey, remind me when we're in class together again, I want to show you how to solve these kinds of prob problems graphically with your calculator. I think you'll like it. It's a lot of fun. All right. See you next time.